What's up you guys? It's the Bitcoin guy. Today I've got a video and I'll be showing you how to uh, set up ETHOS on your mining rig. As you can see here, I am running four GTX 1080 Ti's on my rig. I'm using the, uh, it's the ASRock H110 Pro BTC Plus motherboard. Um, I've only got four GPUs on it, but it has a capacity for a 13. So here I will start by showing you this screen right here. Look on the right hand side, you see the terminal. I've got a couple of things blacked out. Um, that's just the IP address and stuff. I'll, I'll uh, show you what you need to know in a minute though. First you'll need to type mine stop. So that will uh, stop the miner. Now I'm assuming that if you're watching this video, you already have ethos set up. Um, or at least installed on a hard drive or flash drive of some kind and that your rig is currently running it. If you're having issues with that, let me know and I'd be happy to make another video about how to do that. Uh, just leave something in the comments below. But for now, you'll want to type mine stop, all one word as you see here, and it will say miner stopped. Then next, it will, uh, well, you'll want to type vi space remote dot conf as you see here. And that will bring you to this page right here. You'll want to erase, well, you can erase really everything on here. This first line is just uh, a substitute for a URL. And the second line is just a comment. So you can erase everything on there. You don't need anything on this page. That's just to make sure that your uh, rig isn't going to be controlled remotely, assuming that you're going to be using your rig just at home or in the office or whatever. Uh, then to exit this page, you'll want to first hit the escape button and then it'll bring your cursor down to the bottom of the screen. You will hit colon X, that's a lowercase x, uh, altogether, no spaces or anything, and hit enter and that will take you back to this page. Then once you're back to the main screen, you want to type vi space local dot conf. That'll take you to your local configurations and this is the... Mo that was, this was the most difficult thing for me to figure out how to set up on my uh, rig on ethos. You might have to tinker around with it a little bit. Um, if you see any of my settings on here, of course, you want to type, for example, the memory it says 5,000, 5,000, 5,000, 5,000. That's because I have four GPUs on here that are running. You'll need to do that for as many times as you have GPUs. Make sure you put the rig name up in these spots. I will come back to this screen in just a second. Uh, the rig name can be found here at the top left-hand corner of the screen. Uh, or also in the... Um, in the terminal area. You can also find that, but that is one of the places you can find it. And then this is specifically for slush pool. So this is slush pool mining Zcash. I find that my 1080 Ti's are best for mining Zcash. And I just happen to use slush pool because I like it. And for the proxy wallet, I don't actually have a wallet address. All this is on slush pool, how to set it up. But it wants you to type your username dot worker name. And that's how you'll be able to track it. Track it. If you'd like, you can pause it on the screen for a minute as you uh, set that up. But these are the configurations that I use. If you have any suggestions about maybe changing the memory or the power or anything, uh, or the memory core, um, let me know also in the comments below. I'd be happy to take any considerations, or I, I'd be happy to consider anything, any of your suggestions uh, from any of you who may have done further research. This just works for me. Also, I find that my GPUs run relatively cool on these settings. I suggest that you research for your own specific GPUs. These settings will not be the same for different GPUs necessarily. And I will not be responsible for if you accidentally burn out one of your GPUs because you use different settings or because you use these settings which are specifically for higher power GPUs. Uh, be careful with that because that is certainly a possibility. So make sure you research that before you overclock uh, your cards even accidentally because that can burn them up. Anyway, and we're moving on. And finally, at the end, you will just type 
a one letter R or a single, just the R letter right there, lowercase, and that will reboot your rig after you save it. Um, and that's basically it. Then when it reboots, it should connect to your slush pool account and it will just start mining for you. Uh, mine has my rig in the past has been up for months at a time without any issues. I think Ethos is the most stable operating system that I've found to be able to mine consistently on. Anyway, thanks guys for watching. If you have any questions or if you think there is anything here that I missed, I would be happy to make an updated video. I do this for you guys to uh, be able to follow along and see how I set these up. If you have any questions, like I said, let me know in the comments below. Make sure you smash that like button and subscribe for future videos. Thanks for watching. We'll see you on the next one.